Kobe into the lane. Got by low off the glass and good for two. Kobe puts on the brakes, fires the three over Stackhouse. Got it. This is unreal. And if I'm Washington, I'm getting... A name the Laker faithful know all too well. His heiress, Michael Jordan, makes his final trip to Los Angeles, where he'll be met by the reigning champs led by Kobe Bryant. Will this be the game where Jordan passes the torch to Kobe as the preeminent guard in the NBA? Lakers, Wizards, coming up. The Hollywood Hills, the iconic backdrop of Los Angeles. Inside Staples Center, MJ and Kobe ready to go at it. Let's throw it downstairs to legendary Lakers PA announcer, Lawrence Tanner, with tonight's starters. And now, celebrating a 33rd year in Southern California, the franchise with 14 NBA titles, the most wins in NBA history, the Hall of the defending back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back NBA World Champions, your Los Angeles Lakers. At forward number 35, 6'9", third year from Stanford, Mark Madsen. At one forward, number 17, 6'7", 12th year from North Carolina, at one guard, number two, six one, seventh year from Arkansas, Little Rock, Derek Fisher. The other guard is number eight, six six, seventh year from Lower Marion High School, Kobe. And at center, number 34, 7-1, 11th campaign out of LSU, Shaquille The head coach of the Lakers, Phil Jackson. everyone, welcome to our coverage of NBA action on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. We've got a great matchup as Michael Jordan and the Wizards go up against Kobe Bryant and his Los Angeles Lakers. Mike, this should be a fun one. Well, this is reportedly Jordan's last visit to Los Angeles to play the Lakers. I expect either Michael or Kobe to put forth a memorable performance. And Clark, the Lakers are looking to be as sharp as possible as they gear up for another playoff run. Yeah, you're exactly right, Kevin. I mean, Coach Jackson wants this team clicking as the season winds down. You know, Kobe and Shaq, they'll be ready to go, but he wants to see which other players are going to make the postseason rotation. Now the starters for Washington. Jerron Liu is the former Laker with Michael Jordan in the backcourt. Jerry Stackhouse will play the three. He's having a great year. Christian Leitner will be at the four with Jahadi White anchoring the team at center. And for the Lakers, Mark Madsen makes the move into the starting lineup at the four. Robert Ory will come off the bench tonight. Is the other forward. Shaquille O'Neal, of course, starting in the middle. And as always, Derek Fisher and Kobe Bryant are the backcourt tandem. Well, it's a matchup everyone has been dying to see. Kobe Bryant going against Michael Jordan one last time. This is one NBA fans have had circled on their calendars. Here's Leitner. Outside, Jordan. Five on the clock. No good. Shot missing. Some solid defense from Kobe. And Clark, the Kobe-Jordan matchup. It has a little changing of the guard feel to it, don't you think? You're right on top of it, Kevin. And Jordan would be the first one to admit that. I mean, he admires Kobe's passion and approach, but you know Jordan has plenty of fight left in him. One of the greatest competitors we've seen in the history of the league, and he's going to look 
to put his mark on this one. Yeah, you know, he takes the hit, but it looks like he didn't get his feet set in time. Yeah, I think there was some movement at the point of contact. And there it is for him. Ah, we love this one, don't we, Clark? Kobe and Michael Jordan will be guarding each other a lot, it seems. Yeah, I love it, Kevin. They'll be looking to ramp up their defense in this one. We can count on that. Right at each other all game long. Enzo Bryant will bring it up for the Lakers. Four-point game. O'Neal sets the screen for Kobe. Outside, Fox. Kobe passes to Fisher. Back to Bryant. Over Jordan. And look at Kobe go right over Michael on that shot. Oh -ho! A guy with Fisher's attention to detail is going to see that opening every time and exploit it. Jordan against Kobe. And stolen by Fisher. And here we go. Bryant heading to the hoop. And Bryant slams it in. Excellent work turning defense into offense. Gambles always look good when you guess right. And Mike Washington, the last few games, well, they've come out of the gates hot. Yeah, their last few times out, they've blitzed their opponents early. We'll see if L.A. can avoid that same fate tonight. Now, here is Jordan. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. Outside, Fisher. A three from Bryant. Kobe wise and firing. Got it. Jordan couldn't stop him there. Their scoring has been a problem. Been tough to handle. And it's enabled them to establish a substantial lead in the early goal. Timeout, Wizards. Kobe is in the zone. You can see it. Welcome to the floor, the legendary. Kwame Brown has checked in for the Wizards. And a quick look at the Western Conference standings here. Lakers at 41 and 30, and Mike in the bottom half of the playoff picture. And that's a dangerous first round matchup for a team drawing the Lakers. I doubt any of the top three teams would want to see Kobe and Shaq in the first round. And at the top, it's the Mavs leading the way here, Clark, with the Spurs and Kings not too far behind. All three of those teams, Kevin, have looked great. Leighton are the pass to Lou. Nice ball movement by Washington. Brown outside. Pass to Lou. Looking to end the run. The Lakers with the rebound. Bryant outside. And Fisher kicks to Kobe. Passes to Fisher. Bryant dishes to Fox. Just five on the clock. Pulls it up. Kobe with a nice Kobe. touch to get it over Michael Jordan. Well, I tell you what, it seems like they're getting quality looks on every possession. They got a nice rhythm going and can't be stopped. And with each made basket, their confidence also continues to grow. They're surging right now, playing for one another. And the last time the Wizards played the Lakers, Mike, it was Kobe's passing, which really stood out. Recorded a season-high 15 assists in that first meeting. Kobe was looking to set everyone up in that contest. I doubt that's his mindset tonight. And Los Angeles with some changes. Warriors check in for O'Neal. George comes in for Madsen. And it's Fargo in for Fox. And a switcher also for Washington. Eight, 15 points Kobe, now for Kobe. Right. Still in the first quarter. And he is on a rampage. He is on a heater. And so Jordan will bring it up for the Washington Wizards. Timeout, timeout. Wizards. Still without a basket in the game. Washington Martin. calls timeout. Let's hear it from the legendary dance team on the planet, your Lakers. Let's give them a big round of applause. Your dance team. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. Here's Lou. Hasn't made one yet. 
and a big issue for the Wizards, and I mean big, is how they'll slow down Shaq. Well, big is the operative word because Shaq is huge. What a start for Kobe Bryant. He now has 17 points here in the first. They've been the aggressors right from the start, asserting themselves from the very beginning. Yeah, they're setting the tone, and they're doing it on both ends of the floor. Lou passes to Jordan. Six to shoot. Trying to end the drought. Or as they say Michael anything Jordan. you can do, I can do better. Michael answers Kobe right away. Ryan against Stackhouse. And Kobe, here we go. Look at Kobe. Gets those points right back by answering Jordan on the other end. What a power surge by these guys. They can't miss. Literally, what a stretch. Jordan passes to Brock. Here's Stackhouse. And the rebound collected by Ori. Mark, we talked about the Wizards' hot starts to games. Hasn't been the case, though, here tonight. Yeah, the Lakers' D gets the credit for that. They've been very disruptive. You know, the Wizards don't look the same as they did their last few outings. And uh, he's just had one attempt at the line early. Rush has checked in for Los Angeles. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Bobby Simmons, he's checked in for Stackhouse. Oh, free throws good from Bryant. 109 left in the first quarter. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. Aggressive move. That's an easy two points most of the time. Oh, wow. Going over that 20-point mark, and we're still only in the first quarter. He is on a heater. Jordan looking around. 40 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Outside, Simmons trying his work from deep. And again, Washington no good. Los Angeles leading by 21. George passes to Fisher. Back to George. There's the pass to Rush. And here's Kobe for three. It's good, and that's 26 points this half. Clever decision that time by Rush with the basketball, not just holding it and waiting for his shot. Jordan kicks to Simmons. Jordan outside. Pass to Lou to halt the run. No good that time. And the buzzer sounds in the first, and we've got a blowout underway here. Lakers ahead, running away with it. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Welcome back, everyone. Friday Night Hoops continues with the second quarter of the Lakers and the Wizards. And Clark, all season long, Michael Jordan has meant so much for this Wizards team. Yeah, he's done a little bit of everything as a mentor and a teacher. Such a great example. Not to mention the assist and rebound numbers he's compiled. Jordan has been doing it all for this team. Here's Dixon. Outside for Simmons. Six on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. Passes it to Dixon. Stackhouse outside. And the three ball is good. Stackhouse has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Clearly a positive sign. When Stackhouse is knocking down the three ball, the offense really opens up. And the foul called on Bobby Simmons. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Wizards on D. Outside, Kobe. 
gets it to go. He has 30 for the half. And Kobe Bryant had a terrific month of February, Mike. He could not miss. Averaged over 40 points per game that month. Only Will and Elgin Baylor have ever done that before. I've never seen a player get that hot for a month. And he can't let that miss eat at him. He just got to come right back and take it again when left wide open. Count that one. Take a look at how Shaq owns the paint. Nobody's getting in his way inside. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. Stackhouse outside. He feeds it to Haywood. And it's Bryant with the rebound. Bryant's got six rebounds now in the game. George dishes to Bryant. Over Simmons. Got it. 32 points now in the half. Mike, it's early so far, but Kobe Bryant has kept Michael Jordan wrapped up in this one. You can see the effort Kobe is exuding on defense. He is laser-focused each time he picks up Jordan. The Wizards with another miss. You know, these are exactly the kinds of shots that kept me from coaching. This stuff drives a coach crazy. Yeah, a really horrible attempt. They can get much better looks than that. It drops. He's got 34 for the half. Playing well on both ends of the floor, stifling defense and dangerous O. That's a heck of a combo. That's what has built this lead. Dixon passes to Stackhouse. Here's Simmons out to Russell. Back to Simmons. Got a piece of it. Here's Bryant. Wow, with that shot, Kobe has surpassed his previous high mark this year of 36 points and a half. They're not just on fire. Nothing is getting in their way on offense. It's practically supernatural. The defense is trying everything. No good from Stackhouse. Struggling to find their flow while the other team is on the roll. Yeah, this drought is really hurting them. They've got to mix things up and try and snap out of it. Well, Mike, you were talking about this. The Lakers' defense has been a strength for them all season long. You know where the scoring is going to come from. But this team has bought in defensively all season long. It's been huge for them. Well, Mike, it's been all Kobe Bryant in this celebrated matchup he's got tonight with Michael Jordan. He's coming out of the gate scorching hot, going right at defenders, and Jordan hasn't been able to keep up with him. Derek Fisher's checked in for Rush. Lou, he's checked in for the Wizards. Substitution on the court. Just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Down low, Simmons banked in off the glass. Simmons got his first points of the game. You make your teammates better by giving them good passes. That one was perfect. Brian up top. He has 38 in the game. Kobe hitting the 40-point mark once again. Something he's done so many times the past two months. And with the Wizards, taking care of the ball, Clark, has been a strength for them all season. How about this, Kevin? Fifth in the league in turnovers this year, and clearly Coach Collins has Time emphasized the importance of squeezing that orange. I really like Lou's shot selection. He has a great feel for when to fire away from outside. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Bryant. Got it at 16 for the quarter. Hey, the field goal percentages tell the full story. One team is playing more smart and efficient basketball. And the other, not so smart. They're playing too fast, not getting good looks, forcing things. Dixon passes to Lou. Tries it from the top of the key. O'Neal with the rebound. Shaq's got four rebounds now tonight. And Mike Washington still can't solve the puzzle of this Lakers defense. And credit the Lakers for their aggression on that end. They haven't let the Wizards get comfortable with the ball. To the paint. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. A high percentage shooter most of the time. Haywood usually takes good shots. Fires from the line. Counted 44 points. Nice job taking what the defenders give him. Those guys need a gut check right now. Yeah, you'd love to see a little more fire from the defense. They can't just be giving the game away. As to Simmons. 
to the right side. And they call an illegal screen here. Not that hard to spot an illegal screen. Most of the time, an easy call for the officials. Some changes for the Lakers. Madsen, he's checked in for Ori. And it's Fox in for Jordan. And then for Washington, Leitner's checked in for Haywood. Brown comes in for Simmons. And it's Jordan in for Dixon. 46 points in the half. Man, is he cooking. Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. And the defense continues to not be up to the challenge. Fires, high post, and Jordan comes right back and answers Kobe. Good work from Jordan with that sweet jumper, making the defense look so helpless. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a 34-point advantage heading into the break. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We've got more in store for you right after this. Only four years old, the Staples Center, one of the most state-of-the-art venues in all of sports. All right, halftime has come and gone for the Lakers and Wizards. Third quarter action getting started here at Staples. And so Fisher will bring it up for the Lakers. Mike, so often this year, we've heard all the comparisons between Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. And to be quite frank, they are warranted. Kobe is the closest thing to Jordan we have yet to see. This season has cemented that as a truth. Outside, White. The pass to Stackhouse. Here's Leitner. And the foul called on Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. That's foul number two for him. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Leitner the pass to White. Washington again oh, wow. turning it over. Lakers ball. And Kobe's done a good job, Mike, so far on Michael Jordan. Jordan isn't on pace to hit his season average of 20. Kobe's made it very difficult for him. Here's Stackhouse. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Shaq's got rebound number five here tonight. Jordan against Kobe. O'Neal. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Keep going work inside. Close range looks like that. Will keep your lead safe. Stay on the attack. I agree. The defense has to shut the door on those kinds of shots if they want to turn this around. That three off the mark. I know, Mike, you love how guys are making plays for one another, and we've seen it all game long. Yeah, a real balanced attack, total team effort. He's ready, willing, and able to carry the load offensively. Lou passes to Stackhouse. Pass to Leitner. Here's Lou. Jordan, left side. Down to five on the shot clock. Michael and Jordan Porter. gets the points right back with an answer for Bryant. You know, because Jordan is so spectacular, sometimes his strong fundamentals are overlooked. And he keeps it simple. Why get fancy when the pick and roll works like that? Are coming into this game, Michael Jordan was stringing together a number of great performances. I mean, just jaw dropping. Yeah, three straight games of 20 points or more for Michael. He also had that 39 point outburst at the start of the month. You know, it's really amazing to think he's still able to put up points like that at this stage in his career. Nice find from Leitner. He understands when his guys are wide open. It's been a one sided affair for sure. It is obvious and clear who the Kobe Bryant now in the 55 point mark. What an absolute spectacle he has been here tonight. Passes it to Leitner to the inside. Rebounded by the Lakers. Shaq's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Right now, let's take a moment to check in with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. 
Thank you, Kevin. It's been a tough time for the Wizards finding wins here in L.A. The last time this franchise got a road win against the Lakers was more than 10 years ago. It was Valentine's Day of 1992 when the Wizards last won here. That would leave any Washington fan with lots of broken hearts. Back to you guys. David, thank you. It's been a long time, Mike, coming for Wizards fans. Some teams just have your number. That's been the case for Washington and the Lakers for quite some time. Here's Lou. He has five. Here's Jordan. Jordan getting it to fall over Kobe on that play. You know, this is why Jordan is such an effective scorer. Picks his spots really well inside. Here's Kobe. And Kobe not wasting any time. Gets the bucket on Michael. And he can take over in a nanosecond. I mean, once he catches fire, it's difficult to squelch it. Here's Lou. Two minutes. Jordan outside. It's rebounded by Bryan. Defense was right up in his face there, and it spoiled his attempt to lay it in. The offensive rebound. Pass to Fox. Bryant is doubled. Back to Fox. They get the rebound. Kicks it to O'Neal. Outside, Fisher. And the Lakers get it back. Lakers working the ball around now. Here's Bryant. No good. Not a friendly rim at all this trip down. And you talk about killer instinct, Mike. Kobe has had that look to him all game long. This is a statement game from him. We are watching the torch getting passed from Jordan to Kobe. And we see Kobe with some gaudy numbers on the year so far, Clark. Just over 30 points a game. Also, seven rebounds and, and almost six assists as well. I mean, he's, he's filling every category. We know he can score. That's clear. The rebound and then the assist numbers, that's what really stands out to me. He's been doing it all this season. Kobe against Jordan. Kobe attacking. Kobe goes right back at Michael. Steady with the ball. Fisher looks for somebody with a better shot most of the time. Outside, White. Here's Lou. He has five. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. Kobe and that'll be his third foul so far. Third Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Second Moore is checked in for O'Neal. Walker comes in for Madsen. George is checked in for Fox. And Rush is subbed in for Fisher. The Wizards also changing it up. Brendan Haywood is checked in for White. Brown comes in for Leitner. And Simmons subbed in for Stackhouse. There's not a place on the floor where Jordan can't hurt you. Efficient is what he is. Bryant going inside. Gets it to fall. 19 for the quarter. You saw how he altered his release. Gave the defender a little something extra to think about, then laid it in. Here's Lou. Brown outside. With one on the clock. You know, with his height and reach, or he can be very effective as a defender. That length makes it tough for opponents. The Wizards, 26. Just one quarter of play left here between the Lakers and the Wizards. So it's the Wizards now. And you look at Jordan's career numbers, Mike. He has a losing record against these Lakers. And you would think with all the winning Jordan did in Chicago, he wouldn't have a losing record against any team. But the Lakers have historically found success against Jordan. Five to shoot. Kicks it out to Jordan. Oh, good with a triple. 
Enzo Bryant will bring it up for the Lakers. Here's O'Neal. That's good, and it's Bryant with the assist. Oh, Bryant's got his third assist on the night. He's a tough guy to guard anywhere on the floor. Shaq does a really good job using his body to gain position. Michael Jordan on the wing. It's blocked by Shaq. And so it looks like Washington will retain possession here. Wizards ball. Los Angeles making a switch here. Rush is checked in. Number 21, Kareem Rush. Here's Lou. The Wizards with another miss. That's normally one of his spots. And it was a quality look. Shame to see it go to waste. And the foul Wizards. called on Michael Jordan. Michael That's his Jordan. first foul. That's, That's clearly a frustration foul. foul. You can see that coming by the look on his face. Taking it out with a foul won't change much. He's got to have a more level head than that. And the Lakers making a change here. Fisher's checked in. Jerry Stackhouse has checked in for Washington. Nice timing on that rejection from Shaq, demonstrating why. You got to take him seriously as a defensive player when he's lurking near the bucket inside. Here's Jordan. And off the glass. That one's good. They are in complete control, coach, of this game. There's no question, without a doubt, they've been firing on all cylinders. In every way, you're right. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Inside. Here's Stackhouse, and the layup is good. You're playing around with fire anytime you let Stackhouse get this close now. He's a potent offensive scorer. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Fisher. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. Such great timing. Defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Wizards foul. Kwame Brown has checked in for Simmons. That's his first personal foul. Wizards substitution. Number five. There's Pargo. Bryant outside. And the pass to Pargo. And here's Fisher outside. And they'll get another chance. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. Washington foul. Tyron Lee. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Lakers. That free throw missing. Gennaro Pargo. And he sinks the second. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Lou passes to Brown. Stackhouse outside. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Love seeing that kind of confidence. Stackhouse loves sticking it off the catch. Kobe against Stackhouse. It's in. 67 points on the game. Down the stretch, when you need buckets, go to the guy who's gotten you this far. Yeah, he's been relentless. Here's Jordan. Good T by Fisher. It's Kobe Bryant on the wing. Those three-pointers off the mark. Boy, they got lucky on that. You know, I like the timeout Wizards call here by Doug Collins and the Wizards. It allows for him to sub Jordan off. Yeah, these Laker fans showing their appreciation for Michael Jordan. This is probably the last time they'll see him in L.A. Heading to the court. Corey's check in for Los Angeles. Fox comes in for Parco. Then for the Wizards, Leitner right, comes in for that Jihadi White, and Simmons Nathan subbed in for Michael Lawrence. Jordan. Substitution on the court. Los Angeles on D. They double him with Fisher. A nice shot by Simmons. Bobby Simmons. Great vision from Lou. Surveying the floor, keeping his options open. Fisher, left side. They double-team Kobe. Back to Fisher. 
buries the long-range jumper. Whenever he takes a three, that's a good shot. Plus, he had a good look at the bucket. You see why this team is up big. Here's Lou. To the inside. Oh! Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Such a superb passer. Stackhouse's court awareness is also impressive. And here's O'Neal. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers working the ball around now. From deep, Bryant kicks it out to Fisher. That's in. Coming off the assist from O'Neal. Fisher's got five points now this quarter. Fisher proving how deadly he is as a catch-and-shoot guy right there. Here's Lou. He's covered by Fisher. 146 left in the fourth quarter. Brown with a screen on Fisher. Shot clock at five. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And there's the foul against the Lakers. And there's no question Brown has talent. When he's put in the right situation, he can be an effective role player. Good on both. And here's Fisher, outside. He carries it from three-point range. Derek Fisher, a long-range bomber, able to stretch the defense extensively there. 127 left in the fourth quarter. Brown sets a screen for Simmons. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Robert Ory. That's his first personal foul. That's good from Simmons. Shooting for Washington. He hits both from the stripe. Now Kobe. Tries to the hoop. Oh, it's in. He's at 69. From him, fans love seeing this kind of dunk. How about that? Just giving the people, Clark, what they want to see. Got to give them what they want. Yep. And you heard their reaction. They were all about that finish. Bobby he gets that one. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. Simmons gone 67% from the field, four of six. Fisher, right side. Washington with the rebound. And even though that one didn't go down, that's really good shot selection. This is what the coaches are encouraging, even when these type of shots don't fall. Brown kicks to Stackhouse. There's the screen. Back to Brown. Clock at six. On the wing, Brown. On a check with the rebound. And here's Los Angeles. Ari from deep three-point land. Lou grabs the board. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Pass to Stackhouse. And he makes that one. And he's trying to carry this offense, but he can't do it alone. These guys need to help him. And there's Fox. That's good on the assist from Derek Fisher. Love the way Fox picks his spots on offense, never forcing anything, allows it to come to him. Here's Lou, knocked loose. Bryant with the steal. Count it, he's got 25 points on the half. Yep, he's their leading scorer in this game and has been the dominant figure today, no doubt about it. Final buzzer and the Lakers win on the back of an incredible Kobe Bryant performance. Certainly one for the ages. You could feel something special was going to happen tonight. Kobe versus Jordan, and boy, it did not disappoint. And the way, Clark, that Kobe racked up the points, he was on a mission. And look, he might not confess it publicly, Kevin, but this game meant more than a typical regular season game. I mean, Thank you, Kevin. Here with the Lakers, Kobe Bryant. Kobe, a quality win, but how do you carry this momentum onto the road? Yeah, just continue to focus you know, and approach every game as if it's a playoff game. You know, we have to really prepare very well and you know, go out on the road and see what we can do. Thanks very much, Kobe. Appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. All right, DA, thanks again.
For our terrific reporter David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in tonight. We'll see you later.